What is going on, you guys? It's your boy Joe Blow Gaming. Hope you guys are having a beautiful day. I know I am, as always. Anyways, guys, we got another how to video. Now, the reason I've been making more how to videos is because I've been getting a lot of questions on my old previous videos on how to do this, how do I do that. So I like to make, I like to get your guys' ideas and then make videos off that because you guys do have great ideas. So that's why I take those, um, you know, oh, how do I create a server? How do I do this? I take those ideas and I make them into videos because if one of you needs help with that, I'm sure many other people need help with that. Anyways, let's hop into the video. I don't like babbling on too much in the, in the beginning of the video, but today we're going to show you guys how to create a paper server. Again, this was from another comment I got, um, so I thought I would go ahead and show you guys how to do this and let's hop into it. Okay, so like all my how-tos, all the links are in the description. The first thing, if you want to download, if you want to create a Minecraft paper MC server, you have to download Java SC 22, okay? You have to come here and download Java 22. Okay, if you're on Windows, you just click here, download. It, guys, it's the exact same steps as all of my other how-to videos to create a server I just did. Just come here, download Java 22. If you're on Mac, whatever, Linux, blah, blah, blah. Just download it and then install it and then you're good to go. If you don't, your server will not run. Okay, second, obviously we need to download our paper server. So right here, I'll leave the link in the description. This is downloads all. This is where all the versions are for their servers. Now, for this example, I'm going to be doing 1.20.6 just because this the 1.21 is still an experimental build. And I could do it. Like, you could do it, right? It's at your own risk. But I would just prefer to do the one just for the video sake purposes. Now, don't think since I'm doing 1.20.6, you can't do a 1.20.1. .1. Guys. The steps in the video are the exact same, no matter which version you download, okay? The, the older versions, you may need a different Java. But I think for 1.20 and up, you're good with Java 22. Anyways, let's get into this. So let's do 1.20.6. Right here, I'm going to download the latest one. So we're going to go ahead. You're going to click download it. I've already downloaded it right here. So you're just going to click download. It's going to download. And then from there, you're going to go here on your desktop. You're going to create a new folder and you're going to name it Minecraft server. You can name it server. It doesn't matter whatever you want to name it. Guys, these steps, like I said, are going to be the exact same like all of my other videos. And I'll get more in depth about this later. I just want to get this um, tutorial done for you guys as quick as possible. So grab your paper server and drag it into your new folder you've created on your desktop. Second. Click on the third link in the description. Again, like my other how-tos, we're going to need this script right here, okay? So let's go into our Minecraft server folder on our desktop. You can see our server's right here. We're going to rename it. Like, again, we're going to rename it to server. Guys, anytime you want to make a server, it doesn't matter if it's vanilla, if it's craft bucket, plugins, forge, you should always rename your server to server. If you actually download the vanilla server, which is right here, it will come, once you download it, it will only say server. And that's how it should be. So once you drag your paper in here, rename it to server, and then you're good to go. The next thing you're going to do is right click. You're going to go to new text document, and you're going to open up the text document. Now, again, we're going to need this script. So you're going to come here. You're going to copy this, and you're going to paste it. Now, this is where your gigabytes are going to be dedicated to your RAM. Okay, this is our dedicated RAM to your server. This is how much uh, gigabytes you're going to dedicate. So this is one gigabyte, okay? Now it goes up to three. I would recommend you at least do three if you're playing with a few of your friends. Um, and again, I think it's like 3072. I could be wrong. If you search up like uh, Minecraft server gigabyte codes on Google, it'll show you um, what to enter here depending on how much gigabyte you want to dedicate. So since we want to run this server file, our server file is not called Minecraft underscore, underscore server 1.21. It's called server .jar. That's all it is. So you get rid of this. You get rid of the one. All you want basically is server .jar because that's what this is called. It's a jar file and it's called server. So you're going to name it server .jar. And then you're going to go here, file, save as. Okay. You're going to save it as all files. And then from here, you're going to either name it run.bat or start.bat. I just do start. I, it doesn't matter. Like if you want to do run.bat, go ahead. It, there's literally no difference. So I'll do start.bat to start a bat file, and then that's going to run our server. Okay, so now you can delete your old text document. Double-click on your start. It's going to load up your server. Now, this will close. It will, 
it will like load up a little bit, but then it'll close because it'll say your ULA is not true. And that's with any server. Any server you create, it will do that. It doesn't matter if it's vanilla, craft bucket, paper. It, it, it all does the same thing. And you'll see here in just a second. Um, but you can see that the, it's already creating most of the files. Like it's already got the plugins and all that. So right here it says failed uh, to load ULA. What you're going to do is anytime you want to stop your server, you just got to type stop and then enter. Okay. But I think that one, it just automatically shut it because the ULA. So what it meant by that is we need to come here into ULA, double click that, and then change this from false to true, and then just save it, okay? Boom, and then rerun your server. Now your server will fully load up. It, lo it will load up um, all, it will load up everything, all your files, your server commands, everything. And that's literally how you create a server, guys. Um, that is literally it. Um, and that's it. That's literally how you create a server, a paper server. Now. I'm not going to load up Minecraft because you guys know it works. I've done these videos. I've done like a bunch of these Minecraft videos. I know it's going to work. All you have to do is load up your Minecraft. If you want to make sure it works, go to multiplayer, add server, and then in your IP address, type zero, enter. It'll show you your server and you'll be able to join. So that's how you create a paper server, guys. It's really that easy. That's all you have to do, okay? Then if you type stop here. So we typed in stop and it'll stop your server and that's pretty much all you need to know. And there you go. There's your server, guys. It's that easy. Paper, you got everything, plugins, your whatever, everything you need to know. Now, guys, before the video ends, I want to explain to you guys something. I really want you guys to understand this because when you're creating a Minecraft server, either vanilla, paper, or a bucket now forge is a little bit different and that's the modded version of your server forge the only difference from paper bucket and vanilla is forge you need to install forge to your client and your server and in your server folder you once you install forge to your server you need to delete the existing server file to use the new server file it created i know that sounds complicated but it creates a new server file for you to open up and you need to get rid of your old one okay so basically okay what happens here guys what i'm trying to say is no matter what server you are creating from bucket vanilla or paper it is all the exact same way there's no difference the only difference there is when you create either bucket 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 <laughs> bucket vanilla or paper is that you're downloading the different version so today we downloaded paper Okay, if I wanted um, a bucket server, okay, all we do is type, go to Google, bucket server 1.21, okay, here we go, boom, done, download, okay, or download bucket, that's it, that's the only difference is you're either downloading the vanilla server, which is right here, you're either downloading craft bucket, which is right here, okay, so if we go to the downloads, here's your craft bucket, and then here's your paper, that's the only difference. Every other step after that from creating the command file is all the same. It's all the same. The only difference, again, is that we're downloading a different server. That's it. So if you guys don't know how to make a craft bucket, I made a video. The, follow this exact video. You can literally follow this exact video and still create a craft bucket. The only difference instead of downloading paper is you download a craft bucket server. That's it. That's the only difference. All right, guys. So I just wanted to really let you guys know that. Um, but thank you guys so much for the comments and the likes and everything like that. I really, really appreciate you guys for doing that. And guys, I like when you leave comments on how to do this and that. Because if you guys don't know how, I'm sure many others don't. And I love making those videos. So thank you guys so much. I really hope you guys enjoyed the videos. I know I've been making a little bit more how-tos. But I like to switch up my content there and there. Uh, but more gaming videos coming out today. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much. I really appreciate you guys so much. And I hope you guys have an amazing day. Adios.